Ziel perfekt. So. Äh, klar habe ich einen. Oh, the different company. Some schöne Frauen auf dem. Just as an information, guys, these pretty shoes I always have to take off before each time I do the videos here. Bam! What's up, guys? This is Jeremy and this is Rosalie. We today are talking about the best, most expensive fragrance that is currently on the market. You know many of these brands, still I would like you to be totally objective, 100%. And she already just smelled Amwash Reflection Man. She says this smells absolutely awesome, right? Yeah. She says it smells powdery. I like it really much. Still, I did not include it in this list because I talked about it about 17 times already. I do want to give out some honorable mentions right here. So this one I did not include in this list as well. This is called Clive Christian X. What an awesome fragrance. The most expensive fragrance that I own actually. This one I also did not include. Mortal Skin. It has such a cool creative ink note. Then we got Roja Dove's Enigma or Creation E as it is called in America. Very nice, boozy, masculine, super awesome fragrance. Also one of my absolute most expensive ones. Nexus by Zerzhov. I smell similar to Pure Havan by Thierry Muglet. Tobacco, sweet, cherry, vanilla. So those would be my honorable mentions right here. Now we're gonna start off with actually two amouages. Interlude Man and Jubilation 25. Which one do you spontaneously prefer? They're super different. So this one is a more of an oud kind yeah. of smell. And that one is fruity, fresh. You are right, 100%. So depending on a guy and the day and the feeling, but I still would go for this one. Ooh, Jubilation 25. I personally also enjoy this one. It's probably a bit more mass appealing because of this fruity, mass appealing vibe. This one is a bit harsh. Oh wow, it's very strong, it's very harsh. But I think it's gonna become much better within time. All right guys, second battle that we have. My two favorite by Killian fragrances. We got Back to Black and Intoxicated. Two very sweet fragrances. Boom, what do you think? Is there pepper, like pepper There's so cardamom. Yeah. It's cardamom. So this is what it makes it sweet. Oriental. <laughs> it's kind of oriental, yes. This is softer. Mm -hmm. It's a bit more unisex, yeah. It's a bit more fruity, cherry-ish. Yeah, this, I would personally go for this one as a woman, but for a guy, I would. Wow, what a strong opinion right here. So, Intoxicated is pretty sexy, yeah. I have to say. It does have a very, very strong similarity to Thierry Mugli Angel Man, if you know that yeah, one. Yeah, but, but obviously the cardamom is not in Angel Man. So, Intoxicated is in the next round. All right, guys, next one, we're talking about Nasomato, which are both are brutally strong, very long lasting, extra de parfum concentration. So what's your guess? <laughs> Please take that one in the left hand. So left I, hand? Right. Yes, yes, yes. And this one in the right hand. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And what do you think? Which one is better? It's a very nice it's oud fragrance. Yeah. Ara, oh, I like pardon. Really? I like pardon very much. Yeah, it's super spicy and woody and sexy, but this is... Even All if right. I don't like oud, I prefer Okay, it. cool. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do you do like Black Afghano? That's nice. Yeah. It's very popular in the fragrance community. By the way, guys, a great alternative for Black Afghano would be Gucci Intense Oud. Just for anybody who cares, this would be a great alternative for Black Afghano. 90% similarity at least. So take that one out. All right, and the last quarterfinal that we have for today are actually two 
Dior fragrances, all right? We're of course talking about the private line of Dior, the expensive line of Dior. Please, this one in the right hand. Oh, sorry, and this in the left hand. Which one do you prefer on the man? Which one? Yeah? Oops. Ambre Nuit. Yeah. You like Ambre Nuit? I have it, I love it. Oh, that's bad. You like Ambre Nuit, okay? Yeah. Um, I mean, amber, the main, whatever it is, is pure liquid, it's like liquid gold to me. You love amber. I love it. Hmm, cool. Alright, and the other one is just so-so or what? Yeah. What is it? Bois d'Argent. Ah. It's cool. it's an Irish-based fragrance. But can you spray it again? Because like, I don't smell anything. Yeah, after smelling Ambre Nuit and Black Afghan, you don't smell this soft Bois d'Argent fragrance. 100%. I actually want to wear it right now. It fits the outfit. But it's nice. too too soft, right? Yeah. In comparison to Ambrunoui. In comparison, this is very sensual. Masculine. Feminine. Yeah. Feminine. Feminine. Yeah. But you still would like to smell on a guy. Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Sure. Is that the fragrance that you wore today? Partly? Partly. Because I, I didn't want to tell her, but when she came in, I felt like Hey, is she wearing Ampen Wheel? I'm going to show her later. But I didn't want to tell her to not brief her that she's going to smell later. <laughs> she always mixes her fragrances. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so Ampen Wheel is in the semifinals. That's good. So, this is the winner. Alright, cool, cool. So now I would say let's go straight to the semifinals. We got Amouache versus Bikilion. Check this one out. Check this one out. Which one do you prefer on a guy? You like Amouache? Cool. Jubilation 25. That's good because I do think this is so much more original than by Killian. That's nice. What do you like about the Amouache? You mean the packaging or the scent? No, the scent. Mm. Even though it's spicy, it's not too heavy. So mm -hmm. you can wear it daytime. It does have a lot of character without being too offensive. Yeah. Cool. It's sophisticated, I would say. Good, good. All right, so Jubilation 25 is in the finals. Good. And now, mm -hmm. hmm. all right, guys, awesome, awesome. Now, okay, let's have the cards open, but really tell me on a guy, which one do you like more, Black Afghano or Ambre Nuit? Is it really so much that you are an amber freak that you love Amber Nui so much over this one? I seriously love amber, but for a guy, because I'm wearing it myself, I will go for that one. Cool, black Afghano, nice. I'm not an old fan, but it's it's perfect perfume for a guy. Good, good, cool. Alright, um, before we go to the finals, which are Black Afghano and um, Jubilation 25, I want to ask you, what do you think about this fragrance right here? Just like this? Ginger? Who cares? Do you think it's sexy or yes. just... Yeah? Definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I really like it. You really like it? Cool. It's the newest release by Parfums de Marly. It's not in the club of the super mega expensive fragrances. Good. Good. <laughs> wow, this is one of my top five most favorite niche fragrances within the past months that grew really on me. Yeah. You like it? It simply didn't make the last because Parfums de Mali is a bit cheaper than the other niche fragrances that we have right here. It is a strong load of a lot of fruits like cardamom, uh, apple we have. Mm, fruit. Cardamom. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was thinking about the apple. <laughs> yeah. But you like it? It's pineapple. No, I don't think so. It's really, really nice. Man, I love this one. Yeah. And it's so original. Okay, now <laughs> let's see which one is the champion of today. We are in the finals. Amouache Jubilation 25 versus Nasomato's Black Afghan. And please, be serious right here. Like, we're thinking about men that are wearing nice suits, trying to attract the ladies, passing by some ladies, and what's the impression they give you? I would go for that one. 
Yeah? Yeah, you know why? Because it's multi-layered, so it's not... It's multi-dimensional in the way it smells. It's, it's like a Christian Grey kind of guy that wears it, a leader, a doer. Mm. <laughs> okay, cool. So the winner of today in this battle would be Jubilation25. You make a lot of people from the fragrance community happy right now. What do you think about this one? It's really good. It involves itself very, very good. Is it better than the other fragrance that you smelled? Um, it's, I would say, more common, so it's not super, super niche. More at mass appealing? Yeah. Exactly. I think so too. Okay, so this kind of stole the show right now, Parfums de Madeleine. I also want to ask you, um, let's spray this one on the other hand. If you prefer Reflection Man over Layton, or is it... Yeah, it's uh, very soft, so mm. like washing powder kind of thing. Yeah. So I, I think this is for daytime, and this is more for the nighttime. Awesome. Guys, this girl is super awesome, seriously. Cool. And it has flowery notes in it. So 100%. It has jasmine, oh, this one. Good. Reflection man. Really good. Okay, guys, so what did we learn today? Rosaline loves Amber. Rosaline loves Jubilation 25. Amouage Reflection Man. Parfums de Mali Leighton. Alright, guys, so that was it for today. Very nice. Thank you for your awesome opinion, as usual. See you next time with another video. Peace. <laughs>